Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And today we're on the middle, day number six. And today we're going to take a look at creating this nice scribble doodle effect. Uh, on this character I've animated and created. So uh, here you can see it has this nice scribbly doodly effect. It looks hand drawn and like really crappy. And then here you have the nice smooth animation. It looks also looks good of course, but this looks way too smooth to be like hand drawn. And this has a nice textured hand drawn feeling to it. Uh, which I like. So I'll show you how you can recreate this effect and uh, it starts with designing your illustration. This is made in Illustrator and I don't use the, use the pen tool to create nice sharp lines. No, I use the brush tool, so the B on your keyboard or the brush tool right here. And you can create these nice scribbly lines. So if I create a circle and I uh, paint it in, oh, that's too much. I'll do it look like this. So it kind of ha has these open white spots in between like this, so nice. I did this here as well on all of this. So that's the first step to create it. Also make it look a little bit hand-drawn, of course. And then we're going to add some effects to it. So here I have the clean uh, version. So first we're going to add a um, adjustment layer. So go to layer, new uh, adjustment layer. Nice. And we're going to add two effects to it and one duplicate effect. So first we're going to start off with the posterized time effect. So go to help and tap in posterized time and you've got um, this uh, time, posterized time. Nice, and uh, what this does is I, if I put this on 12, it kind of chops up my, chops my uh, frame rate in half, so it makes it look like it's animated um, in 12, 12 frames a second to give it more of that hand-drawn classic cartoon animation look. That already makes it look a little bit more hand-drawn. If I turn it off, then it's smooth again, like that, and if I turn it on, it's not smooth anymore, which is uh, a great first step. Then we're going to select the same layer and add, let's call this effects, by the way, and add a turbulent displays to it. So turbulent, then it's then under distort, turbulent displays. Ooh, and that's way too much. So what this does is kind of morphs all your stuff into some weird looking shapes. Um, and we're going to create this effect two times. So first, uh, kind of give it a, a, a bigger effect and then a smaller, more detailed effect. So for this bigger effect first, what we're going to do is we're going to set the amount to 4. So make it a lot less uh, heavy, a lot less big. And put this um, the size to 50, which is enough. So if I turn this off and on, you can see that it does this little wobbly thing. And we need to animate this wobble so it kind of looks like it's wobbly all the time because now it's only added the wobble the wobble effect to it, but it's not moving. It's just has this wobble effect right now. So you can do that by uh, playing with the evolution. So if I turn on the evolution, you can see that everything starts to move like that. So we want this movement to be constant, uh, but not too smooth as well. So I'm going to open this up, go to effects, turbulent displays, and then for our evolution, I'm going to hold option on my keyboard and click on the stopwatch to add an expression. And this expression that we're going to add is also called posterized time. There it is already, posterized time. And then put that at six, and then a semicolon here. And on the next line, type in time, times, and let's say 1500. And that means that it will kind of keep wobbling around, as you can see here. It's kind of heavy effect, but yeah, you can see the wobble here looks really good nice and then we're going to add another turbulent displays effect so go to help again and distort turbulent displays and this one we're going to make a lot smaller so we're going to turn the size here or the amount to 20 and the size to 10 so that's let's turn off the other one so as you can see if i turn this off and on you already see a difference but we're also going to uh, add uh, make the complexity a bit bigger so maybe four yeah so may I, maybe three is even better yeah so there you get this kind of rough looking edges and then add this one as well. So now you've got a really cool uh, looking scribble effect. I'm going to select this uh, expression here and then go to my turbulent displays number two and add it to the same thing, evolution, option click on the stopwatch, press command V and there it is. So now it pasted that effect in there. So now if I zoom out and we need to let this look because this is a pretty heavy effect uh, because the posterized time is making everything go slower 
Uh, but then the dur turbulent display is doing a lot of small little stuff to this whole animation and all these little scribbles and stuff. So that kind of takes a long time to load. So um, be aware that when you add this effect, it can get a little, it can bog down your computer a little bit. So let's stop it right there, zoom in, and then you can see the animation looks a bit more hand drawn as to as without the effect. It looks like this, really smooth, also really cool. But then, boom, it's instantly a bit more um, crappy on purpose. But yeah, adding these effects will make it look really like kind of nice and head drawn. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, yeah, doodle face effect. Okay, that was day number six. We're at the half point here. If you would like to download the project files for this video, head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the Patreon page. There I will upload all of the project files for free. And while you're there, maybe consider subscribing to the Patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.